Well, I just couldn't be happier with this experience. I have seen so many Ibex. Um, it's really late, so I'm keeping my voice down. But tomorrow morning, I have something really exciting planned. I can't wait to show you. Okay guys, so I took a funicular, I, I took a bus, then a funicular, then a gondola to get up to the top of Niederhorn. Yeah, yeah, I know, another mountain. But this time, I decided to do something a little extra. I, I read about that this is good wildlife viewing in the morning. It's one of my favorite reasons to get out of the city, is to go and view wildlife. And here there are some wildlife that we don't have in the States. There's the chamois, which has little black horns that curve uh, backward or forward, I don't know, backward probably. And then there's the ibex. I'm hoping to see both of those. There's probably some other stuff that I don't know about, but we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna go find them. Ibex are pretty bold, but the chamois are a little more shy. I have to I've only seen them from a long distance. Well, I just couldn't be happier with this experience. I have seen so many Ibex. They are just not shy at all. They're not scared. Now the chamois, they are a little more shy. I have only seen them from a distance and I, I had to work hard to find them and spot them. I really love this mountain. The, the views are just beautiful panoramic views, stunning in every direction. Niederhorn is just right up on top of Toon Lake. That's it right there. And we also have a view of Jungfrau and the other two, um, Munch and Iger. Interesting. I don't think they could get away with that in the United States. Okay guys, so today I've come to St. Beatus Hulun Caves. Um, the grounds are really cool with all these waterfalls coming down to the lake. Really, really pretty. Um, and I've just got to the cave entrance. Looks like it's 95% humidity in there. I'm not very excited about that. So <laughs> I'll try not to spend too much time in there unless I'm really, really enjoying it for other reasons. Anyway, today is my very last day in Tune 
and I really, really enjoyed myself. It's, I'm, I wish I could stay longer. It's just so pretty. I love the lake. The color of the lake is stunning. And all the views of the mountains around. It's just so gorgeous. I, uh, Maggie, can we come and live here? <laughs> um, anyway, really sad that I have to leave. But for now, I'm gonna go enjoy the caves. so low I'm finding that I have to uh, hunch over for uh, most of the time. It's kind of uncomfortable. It's really, really long. I think it said it was a thousand meters at the front. That's like almost a mile or two thirds of a mile anyway. It's a long ways. caves are so huge, it's ridiculous. It just keeps going. Grotto after grotto. Those caves were super impressive. I it took me a really long time to explore everything, and now I got to get to work. <laughs> um, but yes, it was super humid in there. Not quite as noticeable as you might think because it was cold. My toes were freezing. Um, yeah, if I'd known, I, I should have realized caves are usually cold. I should have worn some shoes. Whatever, I was fine. No frostbite. Um, so that's probably it for this episode, guys. Um, thanks for watching. See you in the United States. <laughs>